Good evening. Welcome to evening prayer. It's Tuesday, the 14th of April. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. I'm the senior pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Northampton. Thank you for joining me this evening. And as we conclude the day, I trust you've been safe and well and that you've known the presence of the Lord with you in whatever you've been doing. As we begin our time together, let me invite you to bow your heads with me as we remember the presence of the Lord with us now. Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright. And his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all their host by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He put the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him for he spoke and it came to be he commanded and it stood firm the lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing he frustrates the plans of peoples the counsel of the lord stands forever the thoughts of his hearts to all generations Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all humankind. From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for victory and it's by its great might it cannot save. Truly the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this day. We pray that in the days that are to come, we may spend our time fully aware of your guiding hand and presence on our lives. Lord, we pray that you will keep us faithful to you that our hearts may be set on pleasing you. 
both now and forevermore. Lord God, we are weighed down by the knowledge of our sin, of times we have been dishonest, when we have looked upon evil and clung to our selfish ways. We have talked about others behind their backs. We have lived with haughty eyes and proud hearts. Lord, forgive us and help us. Renew us in righteousness each day. Make our lives faithful and our talk blameless, that we may live in your presence for ever. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and remission of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening is from Acts chapter 2 beginning to read at the 36th verse. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made Jesus both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptised every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptised, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Verse 39 tells us, The promise is for you. The promise is for you. I don't know if you ever, in times past, have received unwanted mail promising you the possibility, because you live in a certain road, of winning a hundred thousand pounds. Yes, you, Mr X, Miss Y, you can win this prize. And we all know it's a false promise. But the promise of God, that your sins can be forgiven, that you can know newness of life and receive the assurance of God's presence and power in your life daily is underwritten by the character of God himself who has revealed himself in Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the guarantor that no matter how many promises God has made, as the Apostle Paul puts it, in Christ Jesus they are yes and amen. So the promise isn't for somebody down the road. It's not for relatives or for friends or for people who you think are slightly better than you. 
the promise and the assurance that you can receive tonight of God's forgiveness. Yes, even for those things where you struggle to forgive yourself. The promise is for you. Know that this evening. Trust in it and receive the peace and the joy that God's Holy Spirit can bring you. Let's pause for a moment and thank God for his promises in the Bible. So let's confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray together. Lord, we live as your creatures in this world, so magnificent and yet so often abused. We live among people who reject spiritual things. People who sometimes seem so insensitive to the real and beautiful and majestic demonstrations of your love that we see in the world around us. But thank you that from the time you walked on this earth, Lord Jesus, and now and for all eternity, you go on loving, forgiving, helping, restoring and redeeming. But for your grace and your mercy, we thank you, O oh Lord. Help us to follow you faithfully. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the light and the glory of the resurrection, we pray for our world, for areas of violence and hostility, for lands where famine and disease are rife, for people who look in vain for rains to come to guarantee a harvest. And for all those who today would struggle to find joy in the resurrection story. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And tonight we pray for ourselves in a moment of quiet. We bring ourselves and those whom we love and for whom we are concerned into the light of the Lord's healing presence where we can know the renewing and life-giving power of his Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer and in whatever form or language is common to us we say together the pattern of prayer that Jesus gave us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, teach us to walk in your way more trustfully, accept your truth more faithfully, and share your life more lovingly, so that we may come by the power of the Holy Spirit as one family to the kingdom of the Father where you live for ever and ever. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us and with those whom we love and with God's people everywhere this night and for evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for prayer this evening. I trust that you're blessed tonight with the gifts of sleep and rest and renewed in strength for whatever tomorrow may bring. Thank you for joining us. Uh, grateful as ever that you've chosen to be part of this online community. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace this night and always. Amen.